Happy third period, DP. Colleen Murphy and Macy Brosimley here with your daily news. On today's show, painted bleachers, a mock trial double victory, and those fun SBCC assessments. Here's all that and more. DP News starts now. Weekend, the National Art Honor Society began their project of restoring and beautifying the Greek's benches. Let's take a look at the, what's been going on. Hey guys, so uh, the National Art Honor Society is painting the benches in the Greek. We're going to paint them blue and gold. Um, so it's going to be blue and then gold lettering, and it's going to say DPHS. We've gotten pretty far. We've sanded almost all of them, and we've primed. Hopefully half of them will finish today. Uh, but we need more help, so if you guys want to come out on Wednesday and uh, this weekend, we could really use your help to uh, put the final coats on. And you can get hours for NHS or CSF if you need them. Tomorrow at lunch, DP's Latin Club presents UCSB's Dr. Bryce Erickson and his Archaeology in Action presentation. Dr. Erickson will be displaying ancient artifacts from Greece and talking about the world of field archaeology. So head over to H22 tomorrow at lunch for this awesome presentation. I'm sure you'll really dig it. <laughs> Seniors, did you miss last week's City College assessment test? Well, tickets for the English and Math assessment test at CC are available in the counseling office. The test is on March 8th on the CC campus. If you're intending on attending City College next year, you have to get these tests done, so get on over there. Our mock trial teams competed this weekend at the Santa Barbara Courthouse in the Santa Barbara County Mock Trial Tournament. There were a mix of varsity and JV teams trying for the four semifinal spots. DP Varsity dominated in their division, coming away in first place and earning several individual awards, including Delia Bullock winning Outstanding Pre-Trial Defense Attorney, Madeline Mathis with the Outstanding Defense Attorney, and Bella Lafferty and Jenny Jang were named Outstanding Witnesses. A true shocker of the day came when DP's JV team defeated several varsity teams and earned the fourth and final spot in the semifinals. That means for the first time ever, DP's junior varsity and varsity team will face off against each other in the semifinals, so DP is guaranteed a spot in the finals. It was a wonderful moment when the teams realized their success and what that meant for the teams. Congratulations to both teams and good luck this weekend as you face each other. About 1.5 million students in some 22,000 high schools enter the National Merit Scholarship competition annually when they take the PSAT test. Of these entrants, some 15,000 semifinalists are chosen. Semifinalists are the highest scoring program entrants in each state and represent the top 1% of the state's senior students. Seven DP students were named National Merit finalists. A huge congrats to Vincent Chen, Channing Fisher, Will Fredrickson, Charles Green, Kyle Kovacs, William Pan, and Sophia Russo. These students will now vie for $35 million in scholarship monies. Way to make DP proud. Here's a reminder to all you AP students that your registration and payment packets for the upcoming AP tests are due to Mrs. Mills and Mr. Woodard's office by the end of this week. After Friday, additional fees will be added. If you need financial aid, you can go talk to Mr. Woodard and he will help you with finding a system that works for you. Clubs meeting today are Art Club, Aquatic Mammal Discussions, ASA, Bike Club, Teen Club, FCA, GSA, Lakes of Love Club, Math Club, Photography Club, and the Ukulele Club. That's all your campus news today, Chargers. Here's our very own John Herrera with your sports news. Today, our boys soccer team heads down to Palos Verdes for a second round game in the CAF playoffs. Our team is 17-3-3 and ranked second in Channel League. Our boys are unbeaten in their last nine games. Good luck, boys. Over the weekend, girls bas basketball played their first round playoff game against Cerritos. Our girls ended their season with a tough 42-71 loss. The Chargers finished their season with an overall record of 11-10. Also over the weekend, Cameron Cox placed third at the CIF Inland Division Wrestling Championships. Cox was 4-1 in the tournament and qualified for next week's Master Meet. Ian Martinez and Jeff Usaka both placed sixth in their weight class. Great job, boys. 
Boys tennis opens their season today with a match at home against Oaks Christian at three. Good luck. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good day, DP.